studied to be a nutritional coach yeah. and I guess um, there's um, I guess an underlying approach isn't there to do gluten free dairy free yep. for kids with autism definitely um, and it's a bit overwhelming I think for most parents when they're trying to implement that change alone wouldn't you say absolutely because most of these kids you'll find have been living on gluten and dairy their favorite foods will be wheat bits of milk or there'll be cheese sandwiches or yogurt um, pastas things like that so the changes are absolutely overwhelming and um, it can be enough to turn some people off and, and not be able to follow through with it so that's where I really love um, working with people to make small changes that that last and changes that mean the whole family can eat the same thing and just doing baby steps um, making it individual because every child is going to respond differently and um, and need different adjustments and Different families have different ways of eating and cooking as well, so yeah. it's very individual. And it's hard when you're making the change to discover how um, nearly everything has got gluten and dairy. <laughs> and, yeah. and I guess parents are often dealing with other things as well as just, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Most of these kids, you know, they've got these feeding issues, there's picky eating, uh, there's textural and sensory things going on as well. Um, so, and, you know, and the mums are running around to therapies and special classes and, and you really don't have time to be spending loads of time in the kitchen and things like that. So it's really um, valuable to have someone who can tell you what to look out for, not to make all the mistakes I did when I did it on my own seven years ago. I made all the mistakes. Um, and now I've been working in the business and have the, the training, I can teach people how not to make the same mistakes and um, you know work with people like the Allergy Menu to come up with individual plans because every single person um, that you see is going to need some, there's a baseline as you said of, of gluten and dairy free, soy and corn free um, gen generally, but then everyone else is individual um, after that point so you really need to find what works for that child, what works for the family and um, I love that the allergy menu can just do that for you, give you a completely individualised um, meal planner and, and recipe um, resource, it's fantastic. 